Hey everybody, welcome to my subtropical paradise. Today I'm going to be sharing with you on how to do some bamboo joinery without using nails. And so I'm going to show you two knots, lashings. The first one is a clove hitch and that's where you can join two bamboos and they're still a little bit movable. It's good for the roof trellis of bamboo structures. And the second one is the tourniquet lashing, which is used when you have like a roof structure or something, and then you have a leg that's crossing perpendicular and you wanna hold it upright and strong without drilling any holes or using nails because that weakens the bamboo. So these are um, knot tying techniques I learned from my travels in Colombia and Brazil. Today we're going to talk about some bamboo joinery using this paracord to combine two bamboos without drilling any holes. So this paracord is very strong. Um, it has a seven strand core and it can hold up to 550 pounds. It is good to burn the edges of the rope so it doesn't fray after it's been cut. So the first knot we're gonna do is a clove hitch. So I have my nice long piece of paracord here and you go under the bamboo and then lay this part over and then take this part and go over so you're making an X. Now your working end, you want a little longer so I'm pulling some of that slack out and now I'm gonna go under the bamboo and back through the bottom here, right under that bottom piece. So it will look like an H, and then you cinch it together, dress the knot, and pull it tight. So if that's all you wanted, you could close it off here with uh, two overhand knots, or you can put another piece on top. So we're gonna repeat the process here, adding another piece of bamboo using another clove. So over, under, and then through the bottom piece. We have our H and we cinch it up. So now we have two bamboos attached to each other. And this is really good if you wanna use like make a trellis, do something where you can swing it from side to side. So we're just gonna go ahead and finish this off with the two overhand knots, right like that. And it's good to leave a little extra in case you need to retie it later. That's the clove hitch, joining two bamboo pieces together with paracord. The next knot I'm gonna show you, the tourniquet lashing. So the tourniquet lashing goes under the bamboo and then over the top bamboo and under the bottom bamboo again. And this is the lashing used to join the upright pieces to the bamboo roof in building a bamboo house. So after you have it over and under and over, take your loose working end here and tie two overhand knots, about enough to get your tourniquet piece in um, two times. So two overhand knots, and then pull that tight. Take both of these ends and insert your tourniquet. Now here I'm using a Buddha belly bamboo, and this has nice, um, real strong and nice thick internodes. So I'm gonna take the bamboo under both pieces and then turn it until it's nice and tight. And you can do this without having a lot of strength. So this makes it nice and tight to hold that bamboo together. Now to finish off the tourniquet knot, then tie another clove knot, the clove hitch. Around the top bamboo and then get your tourniquet tight and then just do two overhand knots. 
to tie that tourniquet in place. One, two. And there you have it, a really strong junction there to join these two bamboos together without using any nails, just using this paracord. So next I wanted to show you where some of these knots are in action. This is the bamboo little hut that I built on my property with my friend Julia, the bamboo architect from Brazil. And you can see our tourniquet knot being used in a couple different places. So this is the bottom part of the structure. And these three bamboos come together and they're looped in to the deck with the eye bolt right here. And this paracord goes through the eye bolt. And these three are joined together by this tourniquet knot. You can see the Buddha belly bamboo piece here to tighten it up. So the tourniquet's being used at the legs, the base of the legs. The tourniquet is also being used where the two join together um, the two legs come up to join together. Now looking up towards the roof, we have kind of a lattice work of the bamboo on the roof. And the way that this lattice was joined together was using the clove hitch. So at all the crosses, the clove hitch was tied around the bottom bamboo, and then it was tied around the top bamboo and tied off with two square knots to secure it in place. 